Hey, 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 how is it going again, Guardians? LV Native here with another Destiny video. I'm really excited about this video. I don't know if you can tell it in my voice, but I've been wanting to put this one out for a little while. It is how to get yourself to light level 400 if you have not already done so. Now, I wanted to make sure that I had all three of my characters at light level 400 before making this, just so I can show you guys exactly what I use to get there and how you can do it as well. Now first things first, whenever you're trying to increase your light level, before you do anything that can give you gear that gives you a higher light level, such as decrypting any engrams, blue, legendary, or exotic, whether you're collecting your faction reward packages from Dead Orbit, Vanguard, Crucible, you know, Petra, it doesn't matter, make sure that you are the current highest light level you possibly can be to make sure to maximize the rewards. One way you can do this and slow yourself down a little bit, you know, maybe you are farming a lot and you have a whole bunch of blue and purple engrams and you run to decrypt them and you just mash that button as fast as you can to decrypt all of them, stop it. Do not do it that way. You're only gonna sell yourself short. When you have a lot of things to turn in, decrypt one item at a time, go to your character's inventory, see if it's a higher light level, if it improves you. If so, go ahead and either equip that item or infuse that item into the item that you currently have equipped so you're always max light level before you decrypt the next engram. Trust me, this will save you a huge heartache if you just go through all your equipment and gear and you know mash it out really quick. You're gonna lose out on a lot of good light level increase. Now, when increasing your light level, you have a couple of main goals in mind, where there's basically four walls that you're going to hit. One is going to be at light level 365. So if you're 365 or less, this is going to apply to you. The next one is going to be for light 385. After that, we have a wall at 390, and then we have that final grind from 390 up to 400. Now, there is not necessarily one best way to go all the way from very, very low up to the max 400. Depending on your current light level, there are going to be certain activities that are going to work a little bit faster for you. Starting things off, let's jump into the lowest light level category, how to get yourself up to 365. So as of right now in the game, Every single blue item that you, you know, get from either the end of a strike or blue engram that you decrypt has the chance to be up to light level 365. So you can literally do almost any activity you want to get yourselves up to that level. I highly recommend going in and doing Archon's Forge and just farming that for as long as you possibly can. When nobody else is in the server, go back to orbit, go back down, get into another group and just farm the buttload out of this. The reason why is it will be able to get you armor all the way up to 385. Every blue engram that it gives you can be decrypted up to 365. And even those special items such as your ghost, your class item, as well as your artifact all have the chance to decrypt all the way up to 400. So I'm going to mention this a little bit later in the video as well. Once you hit 390, if you need one of those three specific items, you want to go to Archon's Forge and farm it to get yourself those. It will be the fastest way to do so. I used to say to do the uh, lower level strikes, um, the 320 light level strikes in order to get yourself up to that 365, but honestly farming Archon's Forge is going to get you there much, much quicker. Just stash as many of those engrams as you can till you possibly can't hold any more and you're going to you know, end up getting your Postmaster full up and that's fine. By the time you can't carry anything else, you go and decrypt them one at a time, taking your time, making sure that they increase your light level before you decrypt all your others. You should be able to hit 365 very, very quickly. One quick tip I want to add to this is if you can, don't decrypt any legendary or exotic engrams that you get just yet. Just store them away for later so you can get the most use out of them. Because your legendary engrams can be decrypted up to a 385 light level, you want to make sure you're above 365 before you start decrypting them. Again, make sure you take it slowly, do it one at a time. Okay. So now that you're light level 365 or higher, to get to 385 you have a couple of options that you can do. You can either A, continue to keep farming Archon's Forges, that will always work very well for you, but the blue items you get aren't going to be as helpful. So you can now start thinking about doing your um, Heroic Strike playlists if you got a few buddies you can run with that can help you out. That way your drops are now, those blue drops from the bosses at the end will drop up to 385. Not to mention while doing this you can use, you know, a three of coin farming method while you're doing 
Lightning Strikes to get some exotic engrams. Don't decrypt them yet, but hang on to them. But you'll still be able to stock up on those, as well as some legendaries. And those will also be able to decrypt up to 385 to get you there. You can even uh, play Crucible. If you don't like doing a lot of PvP, you can just relax and do, you know, some 3 of coin farming while playing Crucible matches. And that will be a great way to also get you up to 385 and even beyond as Crucible can give you drops at the end of each match up to the max of 400. We'll talk more about that in just a little bit. Now the 385 to 390 gap is very very small in terms of numbers but actually quite important when it comes to you know what you should actually be doing. Now all of your faction packages i.e. your Vanguard, your Crucible, your Dead Orbit, you know all of these are going to be able to decrypt up to the maximum of 390 light so it's kind of important if you have a few of these that are getting pretty close to level up even some of the things that you know people kind of forget to level up stuff like Eris Morn you know or over in the reef the Queen's Wrath bounties and stuff like that it all of those will be able to give your rewards up to 390 light so if you're not quite there those are still viable ways to help increase it now we have hit the butter zone, baby. We are at 390 and we got to start that grind to go all the way up to 400. Now this is where a couple of strategies will really pay off for you. So let's take a look at some of the activities that can give you rewards up to light level 400. So starting things off, your exotic engrams. If you've been stockpiling those, now would be the time to start decrypting them, but do it slowly, one at a time. Make sure, you know, to see if it gives you an increase in light level before you decrypt the next one. If you're having trouble getting your hands on some exotic engrams, I'm gonna leave a link right here now in the upper right hand uh, corner of the screen to show you exactly how you can farm to get an insane amount of those very quickly to really boost your light level up. Also, any PvP activity can drop up to 400 light. Even regular Crucible matches can do this for you. But what is really important um, and is going to really give you that boost very, very quickly is whenever we have, you know, the time-released PvP activities such as Trials of Osiris every weekend or once a month when there's Iron Banner. Iron Banner is coming back this week, you know, with the weekly uh, reset on Tuesday, not to mention with an amazing set of weapons and gear for you to get your hands on, namely the Cryptic Dragon. If you have not gotten one of those yet, I highly recommend during the next Iron Banner that you farm it as much as you possibly can stand to get yourself a really good rolled one of those weapons. And if you get unlucky and don't, don't worry, you'll be able to buy a very, very solid roll of that weapon from Ephrodite when you reach the proper rank to do so. So Trials of Osiris, Iron Banner, regular Crucible matches, all of those are gonna help you out. You can also farm three of coins to get those exotics during this time. So, you know, you can kind of double dip and boost your light level quite quickly. Your Nightfall rewards have a chance to drop to light level 400 as well. So you wanna make sure if you're, you know, in the middle of the week and trying to raise your light level as high as possible, try to get yourself at least to light level 390 before you end up doing that Nightfall Strike to maximize, again, the rewards that you can get from it. Also, a lot of people forget about this, but make sure you do Shax's weekly PvP bounty as it has a chance to drop Nightfall tier rewards, again, with light levels up to 400. If you were doing a lot of strikes to get yourself up to this, there's a good chance that you may have a few of the skeleton keys. Make sure you've held onto those up until this point, and this will be when you want to start using those. Not only will these be able to give you those elusive artifacts up to light level 400, but you can also pinpoint it for specific strikes and use a skeleton key at the end to get up to a 400 of that specific item. So if you need a primary weapon, you know, you make sure you use your skeleton keys on a strike where the reward is going to be a primary. If you need a helmet or arms or legs, whatever it is you're looking for, there is going to be a strike that has a specific uh, drop that fits that same category that can really help you out. So this would be a good time for you to start thinking about using those keys that you've built up while getting yourself up to this level. And the number one thing you can do to help raise your light level is going to be to do the raids with your characters each and every week. Now, if you're above 385, you're really gonna wanna start trying to think about doing the um, hard mode or the heroic mode. 
as well as the challenges which give you those guaranteed drops at that higher light level. And these are gonna be essential to get yourself leveled up to that 400. You can do so without doing the raid, but it will take you a lot longer to do so. You're gonna to have to farm a lot more PVP and stuff to do that. But try to get with a group, whether you have enough friends or if you can go on LFG and make sure you get that done. Uh, you can still complete the challenge mode on the normal, but you're really going to sell yourself short on the rewards that you can get as far as your light level if you're not able to do it on the heroic difficulty. So if you're not quite up to that level yet, maybe you're a little below 385, you know, you're in a 380 range or something, and you're still wanting to level up a little bit before you hit that heroic mode, go ahead and do the normal mode because those can also drop up to 385 and get you up to that level, make it a little bit easier for you to be able to complete the heroic raid with a group. No matter what you have to do to do so, just try to do it as the raid for the last couple of weeks have been what has really given me a giant boost in my light level every time I do them, so I highly recommend that you do so as well. Now, three of the hardest items it is for people to come by while, you know, gaining their light level tend to be the class item, your artifact, and your ghost. So if you find that those are a little bit holding you back with whatever level you are, but those tend to be a little bit lower than all the other stuff and it's really holding you down, that's where Archon Forge is highly recommended for you to do regardless of your light level as it has a chance to drop those three type of items up to a maximum of 400. So, you know, say you're at 395, but all of those items or any of those items are like in the 380s or something. Do yourself a favor and go level that up first. It is going to make a big difference on the loot that you're able to get from all your other activities. So make sure if you need any of those three items, again, we're talking the class item, the artifact, or the ghost, make sure you go to Archon's Forge and farm that to get whatever piece it is you're missing. And that will really, really speed up how fast you can get yourself up to that max light level. Another tip is try to focus on just one character, getting them as high as you can first. If you're able to stick with it and get one character to 400, it will be very easy to get the other two characters up to 400 as well. What you do is when you have that one 400 character, go ahead and you know just keep playing the game keep farming do whatever you do all your extra 400 gear that you don't need to infuse on anything on that character store it away by the time you're done doing that you should be able to jump right in to you know your second character after transferring some weapons over and you know using your armor that you weren't using on you know your first 400 character you can now use that useless you know horribly rolled 400 piece of arms on your new character to uh, have them infuse whatever you know their best gear is at the time with that 400 gear and now they automatically have got a lot of 400 gear without having to play a single minute on them doing this with your highest light level characters to low you know to level up your lower level characters is going to be an insanely fast way to get all three of them up to 400 you'll see if you try it and if you haven't done something like this in the past it works beautifully get one character to the max light level and use that character to level up everyone else now if you've already done the raid for the week you know and you've already gotten your nightfall and your weekly crucible bounties out of the way you know and you can't do that you don't have any skeleton keys left i really just recommend farming uh during regular crucible matches or you know if we have a special event like trials or iron banner next week you shouldn't be farming anything but iron banner next week honestly guys you'll thank me the week after trust me you know the matches aren't going to take too long i believe it's back to control which is my preferred method for iron banner but make sure while you're doing all this again that you have your highest light level stuff equipped i cannot tell you how many times i see people you know, oh, I like this gun better, or I like this, you know, stats on this, you know, chest piece better. So I wear that while I'm doing PvP, but it lowers your light level, and it's going to stop you from really being able to, you know, proceed past wherever you are. So again, cannot stress this enough. Make sure while you're doing this that you always have your highest light level gear equipped in order to maximize your rewards. But yeah, I love doing PvP to farm because not only can I use it to farm three of coins, you know, to get myself some exotic engrams from time to time, which are amazingly helpful to get yourself to 400, but you know, you're also going to be able to level up your crucible. You'll be able to level up whatever faction that you're associated with. And just the regular drops at the end of any match, they can all be up to 400. Now granted, when you're leveling up your factions, they can only drop up to 390, but you still might get that god rolled weapon that you're looking from them, so it's still worth going had to do the fact that you can do so many things just from doing any regular pvp matches makes that a very desirable way for me at least to farm whatever it is i'm looking for 
So that's about gonna cover it guys. Before I wrap up this video, I just want to say thank you so much to all the support, all the comments and everything I've been getting lately been really helpful, very inspiring. We've just recently crossed over the 7,000 subscriber mark and that is amazing. Seeing how we've only been doing this for about six months. You guys are awesome. I love every single one of you. Thank you so much. And if you're not yet a subscriber and you're watching this video, go ahead and take a second and click that subscribe button. Got a lot of great content for you. If you do that, turn your notifications on. That way, whenever I have a new video coming up, you will be the first one notified of it and can get that information as soon as you need it. Also, don't forget to smack that like button if you enjoy this or it helped you out as it greatly helps my channel. And a huge, huge favor to anyone who wants to go ahead and share this video across all their friends and social networks and stuff as it will help increase the visibility and we'll be able to grow this community even larger, even better than it already is. But as always, this is LV Native. You guys are awesome and I will see you in the next one.